The Padres have a chance, keyword chance, at winning the World Series in 2020. No, they don't. I'm absolutely appalled that I ever said those words. Look, the Padres are going to lose in the first round. And it's not just because Fernando Tatis Jr. is in the worst slump of his life. And there's been a bunch of you guys saying, please, fix Tatis the way you did Manny Machado. Please, you're our only hope, Sam. By the way, if you want to reach out to me, follow me on Twitter at Samuel underscore out. It's the best way to contact me. But back to the topic at hand. Tatis is in the worst slump of his life. He went on a 14 game stretch where he didn't hit a single home run, hit for a batting average of .163, had an on base percentage of .263, struck out 12 times, and only hit a single extra base hit. To put that in perspective, he got caught stealing 5 times. 5 times! But this video isn't even about Tatis. He is not the reason why the Padres are going to lose. The real reason why the Padres are going to lose is because this guy's injured and this guy's injured. Okay, both aren't officially declared out for the series. I'm recording this at midnight and I'm probably going to be up for the next couple hours editing this. So please, can you just leave a like and subscribe just for that? But anyways, by the time you watch this video, the Padres might have already announced whether or not Lamet and Clevenger are going to be healthy enough to play in the series. I'm predicting that Lamette will be able to play, but Clevenger won't. But let's go through all the scenarios. We'll start off with the worst case scenario. Lamette and Clevenger are both injured. That means the only solid, healthy, decent starting pitcher the Padres will have is Zach Davies. Let's say the Padres win that game. That's great. But in a three game series, they'll have to play at least one more game. That most likely means Chris Paddock will start. And Chris Paddock has been kind of bad this season. And in my opinion, he's probably a number 4 starter on a team right now. Look at his stats. Not only does he have a 4.73 ERA, but hitters are hitting .301 against his fastball, and he has a 46.2% hard hit percentage. That's bottom 8% of the league. Hitters are absolutely killing this man. So I don't expect much. I expect this series to go 3 games. And if this goes 3 games, the Padres will probably have to use an opener. But if it gets to that point, this whole series will be a toss-up. The Padres are 4-4 four four this season in games in which they used an opener. And in these games, 6 out of 8 times they gave up 4 or more runs. Do you know what the Padres record is this season when they give up 4 or more runs? They're 14-20, and 20, which is not good. But do you know what's even crazier? Do you know what the Cardinals record is when they score 4 or more runs? 26-3. They're nearly unbeatable. So, if Lamette and Clevenger are both ruled out of this series, at the very least, it's a toss-up. But let's look at a slightly different situation. Let's say only one of these pitchers is ruled out for the series. My confidence then goes from 50% to probably somewhere around 60-70%. I expect Davies and then either Lamette or Clevenger, whichever one's healthy, to perform. And again, even with Tatis' struggles, I am not worried about this offense. And so if both of them perform, it should be a wrap. The series should be done in two games. But the reason my confidence level isn't at 100% if one of these pitchers is available is because one of them might not perform well. And if one of them doesn't perform well, that means Paddock will have to start. And my confidence level in Paddock, it's not very high. But let's look at our third scenario. Let's say Clevenger and Lamette are both cleared, they're both healthy. My confidence level in the team then is 99%. I am not God. I can't tell you if Lamette and Clevenger will perform after coming back from their injuries the same way they were performing before their injuries. But I'm putting my money that they will. And that even if this series does go to three games, there's no way the Padres drop two of them. No way. So sorry for the clickbait. I don't actually think the Padres are going to lose the series. Worst case scenario, it's going to be a toss up, 50-50%. But hopefully that's not the case. Unless San Diego's actually cursed and the Padres lose to the Cardinals after having home field advantage again, the same way they did the last time they were in the playoffs in 2006. Leave a comment down below with your bold predictions on how far you think the Padres are going to go in the playoffs this season. Hopefully they'll win. Someday they will.